Today I want to talk to you about off-grid solar. This is my book. I wrote it. It's about photovoltaics with lead acid and lithium ion batteries and the whole journey of becoming sustainable and using the sun for all the power that we need. Um, this is my shop. Got a couple projects here. I'm trying to get this guy working with these guys. Got to get a new way to assemble those cells. But don't forget the BMS. Got to use a BMS on those guys. But that's kind of just a fun project. Today I'm going to show you about a project I'm doing for a friend. Building a yurt. And I'm building the battery cabinet here. Which I will show you all the components. How to put it together. And we'll take it from there, yeah? Okay. Alright, let's do a status update. I'm building a off-grid solar battery system here. I have lithium-ion batteries right here. I'm using Simplify. These are the Fee 2.6 uh, 24 volt right there. Let's see if I can get a focus. This thing focusing. There we go. I'm going to use two of them in parallel with this charge controller. Um, the great thing about Morning Stars is you can reprogram them to be used with lithium ion batteries, which is pretty nice. You can turn off the equalize and everything. Um, I have it set at 24 volts. It can be 12, 24, or 48. And then I'm using this uh, Samlex inverter. Uh, it's just a one-way inverter, so solar charges Solar passes through the charge controller, which charges the batteries, and the batteries feed the inverter. And AC comes out over here. And that's the, I kind of pre-wired the Romex into there. There's some plugs there too. Here's my sketch. I always like to sketch it out before I get started. This is, there we are. I don't have the solar panels yet. They're getting installed. But all this stuff I have coming together. And everything's coming through here. These are just connecting all the wires together, making an easy junction point. I put a breaker there for the PV so it's easy to shut it off while I'm working on it. The batteries actually have a breaker right there, so I can t keep them off while I'm hooking everything up. And the inverter has a switch right there. Here is the cabinet I'm using. I have a, got a piece of plywood that I'm gonna attach up to those corners there. i put the battery in the middle, and this will fully seal the system, but I will have to drill some holes on the sides to get the power in and the power out. All right, so I got that plywood and those components attached on there. These are the little screws here. That's kind of what they look like. I'm not gonna use the bottom ones, but I just need to put these washers and that holds everything on there. So this cable here, I want to make sure this guy was long enough to reach into here. It looks like it's good. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to make sure for both batteries, and both the positive and negative, the cables are all uh, the same length. That'll make um, the resistance the same for all of them. It'll make them charge and discharge at the same current, which is very important for putting uh, batteries in parallel.
Now here we go. So, got everything plugged in here. This one is for the solar PV, so it's going to be off for now. It connects up in there to the charge controller. None of that's set up yet, but for now, I have the batteries hooked up, got the covers on. They come in here, they share a common neutral into the charger, and positive and negative go into the inverter here and I have it on so it should just turn on when I got these guys on there we go and everything is on and working we have parallel batteries now that is exciting okay here are the specs again you didn't see them before So the majority of the cost of this system is the lithium ion batteries, which is unfortunate. I hope in the future lithium ion batteries will come down in price, but I would say it's probably 70 or 80 percent of the whole cost of this setup right here. Next cost was the high cost was this cabinet. Okay, now I want to go find something to plug in. What should I plug in here? How about a fan? Let's do that. A Burning Man fan, full of playa dust. Okay. Bring this fan over. Let's see if it really works. Put this here. Plug this in. And it's not working. Yes, it is. And it tripped. Really? What happened here? I heard something trip. What was that? Oh, it's probably this guy. Yes, it was. That's weird. I don't really know why the GFCI kicked in. Kind of hard to see here. Can I get in there? Let me do this. For some reason, that guy tripped GFCI button. Don't know why, but pressing it back in seemed to fix it. The fan's going. Fashion ply of dust in your face. Batteries in parallel. Things are working. Gotta say that's a success. Got a green light up here. I programmed it based on the SOC curve, state of charge curve of these batteries. So generally if it's green, it's probably above 70%. If it's in the middle of the orange one, I think it's 30 to 70 percent. If it's red, that means it's below 30. But this guy was programmable, and that was pretty sweet because now it's going to function exactly the way we want it with these batteries. Cool. I think we're good here. I'd call this a success. All right. Now I'm drilling a hole right here to get this wire through and I'm going to use one of these like this and then have some PVC going down so no water can get up in there inside the box. So let's put down the camera while I drill. Okay that was actually easier than I thought. Got two of them in there. Got some shards to deal with. but. That'll be for the AC right here, and the PV will come in right here. And come across over here and connect up in, and then we're done. So I was able to build this guy here in my backyard, and 
I'm going to take it apart and reassemble it up by the yurt, underneath the yurt in the shade. All right, that's what we made here today. Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue filming until this project's finished, but this is kind of the first start. But I, I wrote a book. This is my book. And if you want to learn more about off-grid solar, you can read my book. Oh yeah, it's got tons of stuff in there. Look at it all. So anyways, I'm doing some videos now based on some of the things I have put in here. And hopefully it's helpful. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you have any advice on changing some of these things. Because who knows, we can all learn from each other, right? So anyways, you can get my book on the link below. Um, you can get on Amazon, you can get Kindle, you can get hard copy, whatever you want. And yeah, I guess I'll do another video and leave some comments down below. Thanks.